Alright, hello everybody, welcome to Shano and Friends TV with me, Ashanu. I've got Rubos with me. Ruby, how are you going? Going great. Going great indeed. This is of course UGC Highlander Season 9. This is the second week of playoffs on Viaduct. We've got JD in the red, Mesotech in the blue. This is the first roll that we're going to see what happens. Yeah, it looks like JD's got an extra player to start off with, so hopefully they can use that number advantage, push forward. They've got the heavy fort already. They have just lost their soldier and their scout, but Miso's lost their heavy, so maybe JD can get the advantage in this mid fight. Yeah, as you mentioned, uh, well, Zion actually getting a nice few pills right there before taking a headshot herself. Uh, looks like J uh, Miso's going into this game with only the eight players, not too sure what the go is. But, uh, well, we'll see if, uh, if JD can make the most out of this. It looks like they are so far. They're getting that first cap happening. Um, and a lot, of, uh, a lot of the Mesotech players down right now. The only good yeah. thing so far is um, Mesotech Medic Rady Cape, which is Rady. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> As you say, it, Dali gets a great snipe there from the stairs all the way over to Raiden there on the cliffs. Miso's lost their Medic and have to build it right up again, just as JD gets their spawn as well to put him in a good position to hold that point. Yeah, very good position. It looks like we're getting the ninth Misotech player in right now, so they won't be at too much of a disadvantage, really only losing that first 30 seconds of this pick. Um, looks like Shredder's getting a few kills in the background before dying himself. Uh, not too much is happening, probably waiting for Raiden to get up that Ubi before they choose to push in. Or crits. Yeah. Raiden on crits. Oh, Raiden crits maybe a good move. He might actually get it just before Rudiger gets it, but they'll have to pop pretty much immediately because Rudiger has about... 5% advantage. By the time Raiden builds it up, he might have a very small advantage, so we'll have to see. Yeah, it'll be close. Um, gonna keep the uh, camera parked on the Scrappy Coco, just because that's probably going to be the demo that's taking the crit, so we'll see if he can get stuff done. He actually did pick the NG and his mini sentry just there. So, uh, not too not too bad right now. They're actually just pushing forward, not really needing that crits at the moment. They've got it if they need it, but they're just muscling JD off the point. Yeah, that's right, they don't even need that crit, so they can just hang on to it, but the thing is, if they do pop it, they just don't want to be nullified by that uber, they're probably going to have to force a pop before they do it, because that uber is ready now. But JD has been pushed back into their spawn. Yeah, they've delayed that crits for a long time, and it does mean that radiga has got his uber up, so uh, with Misotech losing a few players right now, they do actually choose to pop it onto the demo, trying to take down the heavy, but no kills with it so far. In fact, that's entirely a wasted crits. There were zero kills under it. The Uber actually does come out the counter Uber. Ice gets taken down on the um, yeah on the pyro there. Dan goes down on the heavy as well. So um, that counter Uber was quite well done. A few players from Miso dying, and it looks like they're recapping up this point. Yeah, for sure. Well coordinated there by JD. Just avoiding that crits, not taking any losses, and then just popping the Uber back in and just taking Miso Tech by force. Miso Tech on the back foot yet again. Yeah, absolutely, and that's with the nine players, so uh, no excuses right now. Going into this, I'm just going to quickly go through JD seeded five, Mesotech seeded four, both with six wins and three losses. So this was always going to be a close game. Uh, who were you tipping to win this one? I was probably going to tip Mesotech. I mean, they've just got that six experience. A lot of them are from the Premier team in Oz Fortress. Um, Lord of the Boys, so I mean they've got that experience with just coordinating together with each other. As I say that, they just pop a crit and just kill about pretty much all of the JD players. So there you go, testament to what I'm saying, Misotech just takes that point with the great crits there. Look, that was lovely, I caught that, they just walked straight forward on Scrappy Coco with the, uh, with the crit stickies and destroyed everything, basically. Uh, which means they are, their time is ticking down, 59 seconds now for the JD team. That's, uh, that's a quite a nice lead for probably the underdogs going into this, so we'll, we'll see if they can make things happen off of it. But at the moment, we're following the Mesotech players. Uh, less than two minutes left now, so uh, we'll see how they go. Yeah, Mesotech is going to get another crits creek shortly, and they're going to have to use it yet again to stop Radiga getting his own Uber up. They're going to have to start looking out for the medic very shortly, so they can get that pick when they need it. Look, they absolutely will. Uh, they're going to have to keep their demo alive to take this crits forward. They do have the crits right now, so I'm going to see there if I can... There is a spy right now on Rady Cakes by himself. Just manages to get the Ubersaw off and actually gets it a bit earlier than he would have. <laughs> that crits creek now. Oh, that's find why I jumped, yeah. Them. Yeah, he's hooked up with his demo now, so we'll see if he can make, get some things done with it. Radiger, however, does have his Uber right now. So if this comes out, and yeah, the crits do come out, but a bit too late. The JD player is just moving forward on the back of the demo with that Uber. Demo is getting a little bit caught out now, not getting flashed, but they're moving forward, taking out enough Mesotech players, and it looks like they will get this cap up on this point. Yeah, of course. For those of us who know our mathematics, 2 times 0 will always be 0, so the Uber will win every time. Yes, you're referring to the damage of the uh, the crit damage there. 
I think I might just be. Demo That's coming to the point now for JD. They do have quite a few more players. Zion just securing the area with those sticky bombs. Very good to see. Amusa, uh, JD playing surprisingly well tonight. Look, very well indeed. Um, I think this is probably on the back of something. Is um reasonably high level sixes player probably making the calls right now. Uh, not too sure, but the point of that all is that they're now back in the lead. They have capped up this point. Time is indeed ticking down, and it's really up to Miso to try and come forward uh, and try and get some, some cap time up on this point. Going to be difficult, though, because they're still running the crits by the looks of things. Mm, they are going to get one shortly. They're going to have to be careful again of the Uber. They're not really building it fast enough to beat that Uber time. So are they going to need to force a pop or just get a good surprise on Radiga? But they're going to have to go now. Yeah, they're, they're going to have to make their move. 14 seconds left. I don't know if they can do this in time. Radiger does get his Uber up, so even if nothing else, he will use it to block the point. We are do see them coming forward now. A big bomb in. Looks like Radiger trying to go down. He actually does get forced. They pop the Uber. The crits there nullified. Not getting any crit sticky kills right there. And instead, a lot of the Misotech players going down. They're just pushing that Uber Pyro across the point. However, JD losing a lot of their own players. Misotech still up on this point. However, losing players as well. Looks like they're trying to fall off right now. Only the Engineer and the so Sniper up to get the cap. But really, JD has to come come forward and uh, try and recap this up. Yeah, look, Mesotech's managed to just get the point there in that fight, but I mean, they're going to have to hold on to it for 45 seconds. JD does have the spawn advantage now, and they're probably going to get an Uber in time as well. So Miso, if they want to win this round, they're going to have to be very careful. Very careful indeed. It's only a cap for JD required right now. Any time on that point, and it will be done. So uh, Misotech need to keep their players alive, and Radicate going down to Shredder there with the backstab is not a good way to do it. Misotech... Yeah. Uh, JD just muscling their way in now with a heavy. The heavy does get taken out, but uh, quite a lot of players down for Miso, and there we see JD can just push their way in, win that round. 1-0 to JD. Absolutely. A very close round in the end. That was really exciting. But uh, JD taking first round honours. We'll see what they can do. I'm trying to find a demo as we roll out. Sorry, guys. There we go. Zion t coming out to mid right now, actually beating her opponent demo by some time. However, t losing a lot of health to do it. Yeah, that was good, actually. Managing to secure off that area really early and having that scout with her. JD did get that position early and they've already got the first pick as well. It's only a spy, but maybe they can um, use that advantage. There's a heavy on the right hand side that's really muscling in on them. He does take out something. And all the Rudiger actually went down as well, so that's going to be a bit of a disadvantage there for JD. Yeah, huge jump in from Mad Jack, getting a lot of work done, taking down Rudiger. However, Rady Cakes does go down in the background as well. I didn't see who got that kill. Possibly Shredder, known for his destroying spy play, as he actually comes and gets one kill on the point there. Uh, it looks like, yeah, Misotech can't actually quite push forward and, uh, and capitalise on Rudiger going down. Yeah, I mean, Medicloss versus Medicloss, but it would be nice to see at least one of the teams maybe putting some time in on this point. I don't think it's been catch. Oh, no, it yeah, has, it has sorry. been running over for the for the JD time running down, and that's the first 30 seconds of this round already gone. They're actually holding very far forward, which I like to see. Scout and Soldier uh, going forward with the demo locking off some of the lanes is a really nice defensive setup for this map, and it's working out for them certainly so far. Yeah, while Miso has their heavy and their demo just down, they're just spawning up now. They can't really get the damage out that they need to, and it allows JD, as we see, to just hold forward against these lower damage players. Yeah, JD's lost a few of their own players right now. However, Zion's still keeping the lanes spammed out, which means that they're going to have trouble trying to bring the medic in. However, nice snipe down onto Zion. It looks like we might be seeing now. I don't know. It's a crit's actually out now onto Scrappy Coco. He does take down one or two players. Jujok going down, trying to get some work done onto this heavy. He will go down himself. The medic stays alive, though. Uh, Radiger on 100% Uber. So we will probably see a JD counter push as soon as they get their players up. Yeah, good work there by Radiger managing to escape from the crit's creek, knowing it was coming and just being in a good position to get away from it. Yeah, exactly what they needed to do. 1 minute 48 seconds left on the clock for JD. They do have that 100% Uber. The Spy did not get any work done onto the Medic or the Heavy there. So uh, it's just a matter of where GD, JD is choosing to push. As they do They're actually come in. in. Yeah, now with the demo on the right-hand side. They are trying to get some stickies on that behind that rock, but Misotech's just backing away, managing to keep their Medic up. They did lose their Heavy, but not much else. So Misotech's going to have a crit creek soon, and Radio will not have anything to counter it with. No, that is absolutely correct. Jigjot actually going down, the Sniper for Miso going down as well, so really the two teams just flirting while Rady Cakes is waiting for that crit. It's coming up very, very soon. Coco is alive, so we'll see what they can do with his crits when it comes in. I would maybe like to see Miso take coordinating these crits creeks a bit better, having the, the pocket ready for the crits creek before they actually get it so that they can pop in, use the advantage over the Uber, 
because they're being a bit slow now and that Uber's getting up a lot of the time. They're coming in now with the crit speed, but they're not really getting any kills. Looks like JD's able to hold this. They do actually pick Rady Cakes. A few heavy classes coming on now from Misotech. JD can maybe stop it though. Look, I think JD should be able to stop this even without the Uber itself. Uh, what, what we actually saw, and it goes back to what you were saying about a bit of coordination as we come in for the crits, the mini sentry actually stopped most of that crits doing anything effective. Uh, and it's something as, as simple as the mini sentry getting destroyed before the crits goes in. That's the things that can change the game. Yeah, for sure. That can be really pesky, especially to a medic or a, a demo kind of come in. It can kill off a lot of your health before you even get in a good position to take that medic. Yeah, that's what we saw. We do actually see Radigo getting forced on the point right now, trying to defend it up. The scout's moving forward. I don't know why. He can't kill that ubered up player. So, uh, not really... Oh, I see. It's only 30 seconds left for JD to hold this. That's why they're playing a little bit aggressively. Rady Cake's going down in the background to Shredder as well, not helping up this Misotech, uh, this Misotech attack. Yeah, this is crazy. We've seen JD just put the pressure on this round. They've got about a two-minute advantage. I mean, even if Misotech does cap, it'll be very tough for Misotech to claim the round back. JD just pulling out all the stops for this round. Yeah, a big key so far from what I'm seeing is they're keeping a constant player advantage. They're running the crits very effect, uh, running the Uber, sorry, very effectively, minimalizing uh, how effective the Misotech crits can be. Yeah, I mean, the main reason that a team might run crits, Krieg, as I'm sure you know, is you, are, you, you can build it a bit faster and then you can surprise the enemy medic before he manages to get it up. But the thing is, Misotech really isn't popping it as they get it. They're waiting until JD has the time to build up their own Uber. And then Chris Creek versus Uber, Uber will always win. And yeah, it's it's just that, that slow play that's uh, that's not favouring the Misotech team right now. I don't know if you saw it, but on rollout, Zion got a nice pipe onto the scout and in fact uh, destroyed that scout from Misotech on the way out. I didn't see it in the background. Rady Cakes actually went down. So that's, I think, another very key part of why JD is managing to uh, managing to win this is that even when they uh, when they do get the crits up, it's not being effective, but they're simply not getting the crits up a lot of the time on the back of Shredder there. Yeah, that's right. Shredder doing great work. Sniper as well, Dialy on JD. Also getting some really good snipes, helping the team out with those important picks. And it just means that Radiga will have an uncontested Uber a lot of the time and his team is able to just muscle forward onto that point. Yeah, now that you mention it, both uh, both snipers actually outscoring or equal scoring the medic for their team. So, uh, yeah, well, we know this is a very sniper friendly map. I didn't realise quite how sniper friendly though, as we do actually see the Uber coming forward for JD. Um, not too sure. They're trying to push the heavy across the point. They're not really actually getting a lot done with it. Misotech is quite correctly just backing off, waiting for this crits or possibly Uber at the pace that it's building. Not too sure. He stalled up for a bit there. So we'll see what the... Uh, it is a crits? Alright, looks mm -hmm. like we've got the demo coming out from the left-hand side. I'll see if I can find him. Scrappy Coco on the camera right now, seeing what they can do with the crits. Again, they could have gone with him there, but they just sort of chose not to. Coco went off by himself. They actually had it, but they haven't used it yet. I think they might come in using it now. I hope so. They, they really do need to, because that there it is actually out right now. Jigjot going down straight away, but nothing else yet. Do, do take down Dilly on the sniper, but that's still not the two kills that you need. You really needed the, the medic, Radiga, if you're going to pop that crits. And I don't think they've actually killed him once under the crits this game. No, I don't think they have. Radiga just, Radiga just again, smartly backing on into his own spawn. Able to just hold on to his Uber and then use it when his players spawn. I mean, get, picking the other players, they all respawn much faster than your crits creep will. It's really just the medic that you need. And they weren't able to get it that time or any time so far. Look, absolutely correct. What we do see is, um, well, the time is ticking down for the Misotech team. However, they're still behind. Two minutes and one second left for JD. About two and a half for Misotech. And they're losing a lot of players right now. The Uber does come in. If I can find it. There we go. Uh, and uh, get a lot of mm. kills with it. <laughs> yeah, it did try to get reflected there, but the pirate was taken out as well as the demo. So that's really just the kills that JD needs. You're going to hold on to it, but they have to, we'll have to watch out for a Chris Creek shortly. And here it comes on the soldier, actually. Nice getting reflect. Reflected. Yeah, good reflect there by Jigjot, just trying to nullify that Chris Creek. It's not really getting any kills. Yet again, JD responding really well, and Rudiger, we can already see, is pretty much back all the way. He knew that it was coming. Yeah, and in fact, the only thing that happened for Misotech under that crits is their medic and sold, or well, their medic at least went down. Uh, Discrider came forward and just rushed him under that crits. Uh, and killed him. So, minute and a half left for the um, for the cap. As we're seeing a bit of chat from Misotech, I'm not too sure what that was. But uh, they're losing, so they can't really be too mouthy at the moment. Although they did take down Radiger in the background there. 
Yeah, some good heavy work there on Radiga. I'm sure something else must have weakened him first. And uh, Radiga does go down. Rady Cake will have an uncontested Kritzkrieg when he finally gets it up. And uh, maybe they can muscle onto the point then. They do need to get a few more kills. They've got uh, JD has a demo behind that point, and the heavy somewhere near the house as well. And Radiga spawned again. Scout is on him. It looks like he does get taken out. Yeah, jumper in as well. He could go down here. Uh, Magic trying to get four, and does actually get taken out by inverts. So that's good stuff. What we did see though is Mythotech take a long, long time to get this cap up, and when they do, they do actually get a few JD kills with it, but they lose a lot of their heavy players as well. Demo and Soldier. Medic is well going down. So um, even with Mesotech coming forward and capping it up, JD is still not in the worst position. Yeah, it's interesting to see. I don't really know what's going on, but Mesotech has lost <laughs> their Medic, which will mean that, and their Demo, so it'll mean that maybe JD can muscle on to this point. They do have their Demo. In All right, guys. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Shino and Friends TV. With me, Shino, we're just going to very quickly drop in on this game. JD against Mesotech. This is the third round. And uh, by the looks of things, JD are up right now, two rounds to zero. I've got with me Rubos. Ruby, how are you going? I'm going great. We just came off the end of a, a great match, Anzac versus Get Some. Now we're coming into another bit of an upset, it looks like. JD versus Mesotech, as you said, JD's already winning. They were not the favourites for this match, but it looks like they could certainly pull it off. They certainly were not. This is, of course, UGC Highlander Season 9, the second week of playoffs. This is Koff Viaduct, JD against Mesotech, as you said. And, um, well, despite Mesotech having the point right now, it looks like Mes uh, JD is actually in control of this round. It does look like that indeed. They have the Uber. They are going to pop it now. Uber on the heavy. Pyro just blasting away the Medic, though. Not quite as effective as it could be. Pyro is getting taken down. Ooh, Scout finishing off the heavy, though. JD's actually lost a few players. Yeah, and Rady Cake has actually Mesotech popped the crits. Comes in. Yeah, good crits there from Mesotech, getting a lot of kills. Pretty much everyone except that medic who's just going to get away into his spawn. Mesotech maybe turning it around. They're going to have to hold on to it for a bit, but it looks like they can do this. You might think they would turn it around, but then Shredder gets a couple of very nice backstabs indeed. Took down the there medic. You go. It's, it's, yeah, it's back to three up for yep. Mesotech. And um, it's looking right now like JD is in very much control of this round. I am shocked, frankly, shocked and delighted that JD are winning this game. I absolutely love seeing the underdogs come through, and at the moment, that's what they're doing. Yeah, it certainly does look like that. Mesotech coming in from the side a bit, but they don't really have anything to use. That heavy is getting taken out there by the sniper, but JD just has a few more players as well. Or oh, everyone jumping on now from Mesotech. They might just get this soldier trying to stop it. Medic just hanging back a bit. Oh, Medic does get taken out. Mesotech just trying to get the point, I think, but they're going to have to hold on to 30 seconds. Yeah, I don't think JD actually needed to crash that point quite so suicidally. They have the 30 seconds. They do have enough time for all of the players to get back up to respawn uh, and to push in once again. What we are seeing is Mesotech's not actually holding that far forward like we did see uh, get some doing in the last game, and maybe that could be to their disadvantage. However, a lot of the JD players going down right now. Only 10 seconds left. They need to get on this point. This is the time where they need to go suicidally, not before. The crits is actually out right now for Mesotech, and uh, wow, JD right at the end, failing to show up. So, um, wow. I think we're a bad luck moment for JD. Perhaps. We're winning 2-0 until we got here. <laughs> Absolutely. Mesotech. So finding, finding a demo on the rollout, got Zion right now, uh, following the rollout, choosing not again to go very fast in at all, choosing to conserve that health, get a little bit of spam out now that she's there. However, taking some hits from the scout as soon as she, uh, she gets there. Yeah, no kills yet. Yeah, we do see all these mid fights with no kills happen quite a lot in Highlander. Miso actually pushing a lot of their players forward on that left hand side to try and get that medic. He does stay safe though. Demo's actually on the opposing cliff, manages to take out Rudigan nicely there, as well as the heavy. Really good play there for Coco. Pretty much getting a 4k and managing to help his team get the point. I don't know who Coco is, but he's playing very scrappily right now. Um, Absolutely loving to see that. It looks like Mesotech are going to go ahead and cap up this first round. They get their time ticking down, and uh, Radiga did actually go down, so I think it's probably crits for Miso right now. Yeah, I can just have a look. In fact, there it is. is. And they are going to pop it now on the demo, but the scout's just going to come in from the side, delay it a bit. They're not really going to get any kills, but they are going to hold on to it for a while. Yeah, not too many kills. Radiga stayed alive. They did actually take down something very early on with that very first crit sticky that came out of them. So uh, already half a minute gone. One-sixth of their allocated time has gone. 
Uh, Radiga did go down just there. Mad Jack getting a great jump in. I didn't see it, didn't quite catch it on camera, but uh, it's going to ensure that they're not really challenged that much for about the next 40 or 50 seconds. Mm, I think the main thing for JD here is they just keep losing that medic and the heavy. They need to hold on to them a bit more if they want to they get back to where they were before we got here. Well, I would like to see that. I um, Well, I don't know, both of these teams are quite good. In fact, Shredder taking down the medic right there didn't uh, didn't quite capture it all on camera, just saw the medic dying. But, um, you know, Shredder is probably the one person that uh, that Miso needs to shut down if they want to take this. As it looks JD actually... JD getting finally some good aggression yeah. models there from JD. They are probably going to get this point. They do have that 70% crit streak as well, which they can just use after the point cap by the looks of it. Heavy on the side, they really need to watch for these Mesotech flanks that just keep happening. They are going to take out that heavy. Really good kills there. Four up for Mesotech. They need to hold on to this. They do. Following Zion, because she's... Well, JD Radiger did actually go down to a body shot there from Snipe Rings. A good mate job, bro. Something. I don't know what his name is. But at the point of it all is that Radiger did go down. There is no crits to defend this up. And uh, the point I wanted to make was that uh, Misotech are known for playing very unconventionally when they're playing Highlander. And um, just horrible, horrible flanking is exactly what I would expect out of these guys. <laughs> for sure, and it does sort of seem to be working a bit. JD maybe got the upper hand for now. Bit of a crit disadvantage, but uh, but certainly the positional and the player advantage. Absolutely, Miso something... Crits as well now. Are they indeed? Mm-hmm. Well then, I'm going to keep the camera parked on Coco. Say about no Coco actually Coco deceased. Gets taken it. <laughs> I'm a bad luck for everyone. On someone else. <laughs> Unsure. Have it at ninety-four percent. We'll see it coming out. In fact, they're not actually healing. That uh, Miso medic, yeah, medic is not healing. By himself on the left-hand side, the team sort of tries to cap, but the medic just gets caught out a bit. Finally, finds the heavy. He is on fire. I'm gonna sort of maybe get that mini. Maybe get Girardi on the. Maybe just get caught out by the soldier on the side. Maybe Finally get pop it deceased. And then have the heavy taken out. Yep. And then the medic. So. <laughs> wow. Maybe full communication there from Muso Tech. Bit funny maybe. to see them just bored by themselves. The only two of them on their team, and just get Girardi and completely flanked there by JD. Good coordination from JD, of course. Great coordination coming out from JD. One and one half minutes remaining. One and one half minutes gone for actually both teams or thereabout. Um, and it looks like JD is actually coming back and uh, really taking control of this. There's some... No, Zion did actually go down. She had a few stickies in place that could have taken down the opposing medic. Gets sniped instead by snipering. Uh, appropriate. Yep. Tends to be the class that snipes. Yes. Shredder again yep. taking down... Well, actually running the dead ringer, so uh, quite different from Lorenzo we saw last game. He is, in fact, going to take down the medic, and he does get it. So, uh, oh, and that's just yeah. going to be a big advantage for JD, who has their crits now, free to use it, and then have it again for when, by the time the other medic gets it. They might just hold on to it. We'll have to see. They do have that point. 42 seconds is all they have to hold on to it for. They are using a few plays. Maybe they want to pop that crits. I think they do. They've still got a player advantage. They do pop the crits. Don't actually met, get anything with it so far. Zion's putting a few crit stickies down. Does take down the spy, unwittingly of course. Uh, but Greva does go down from that. And it looks like with only 22 seconds left on the clock, JD are in actually quite a nice position to take this round so far. Yeah, it does look like it. They need to just hold forward, get these players off the point. Watch out for that sniper using that little sneaky spot there on the battlements. But uh, it looks like JD could get this if they just play smart, don't lose any of their important players. Only seven seconds is all they really need to do. Yeah, it's ticking down. They need to get on the point, Misotech. They're not doing it. Scrappy Coco does take down Shredder. That is a half win to JD. Three rounds to one. Uh, I did not expect that. Did you perhaps expect that? Um, no, I wouldn't say that I expected it before this round started. Now that I've seen both these teams in play, I can see JD really is playing well. Miso take perhaps a bit sloppy. Perhaps didn't plan as well as JD did for this game. I don't want to say it, but perhaps they're not quite as invested in the Highlander format as JD. Uh, don't want to be too cynical about things, but that could be it. Um, so, anyway. It could be. <laughs> it could be that. I'm going to go ahead and stop this half recording here. Um, if you're on YouTube, you're going to be seeing us again with the second half any second now. All right, guys, back with the second half. This is uh, it was a very quick ready up. They're not restarting the map or anything. JD still on the red. Uh, Misotech still on the blue. I, of course, am still a Shanu. Ruby, I've still got you with me. And um, well, I'm excited for this second half. 
Ruby is so excited he's speechless. So I'm going to go ahead and do Sorry. this. We've still got um, we've still got JD running the crits. I'm not entirely sure what Miso is looking. I'm going to go ahead and have a look. They actually do lose Scrappy Coco though, so the crits is not coming out anytime soon. And it looks like JD is going to go ahead and win this mid fight. As wow, the camera work is crazy. The heavy gets taken out there. But they will have this crits. They're going to maybe use it on Zion now. As the soldier jumps in, oh, does oh, get the target pick there. Huge there by Mad Jack, who is in fact not dog time. <laughs> Mad Jack. Not dog time, however, he is Mad Jack, and that guy is amazing on the soldier. So, uh, you know, if Miso are probably going to win this, if they do, um, well, as we see, the Pew Pew lasers coming out and killing all of the things. In fact, most of the JD players are deceased right now. Yeah, very tough now for JD. They, they can afford to lose one round, but uh, they probably don't want to. Bit of an upset there at the start, they managed to lose all their players. It's going to be tough for them to regroup from that. Build up a crit screen and just push back. They are pretty it, much pushed down to their spawn now. It is, and um, yeah, we're seeing them hold very far forward. This is probably what they need to be doing. Maybe they're just getting a little bit scared of the fact that they're currently down three rounds to one. This is Mesotech, of course. Uh, Radiga, however, in spawn, building quite nicely. He's actually going to get his crits up before um, Mesotech right now, so I'm going to see if I can find mm, Zion. There is a sticky trap there, is it going to... Oh, it doesn't actually quite manage to get Zion, because she does actually move out away from it, but a uh, nice sticky trap nonetheless. Could have got Zion there. Radiga's going to have his crits, and he's actually surprisingly able to get in a good position before he uses it, which I thought might not be the case where they were holding. I he does thought the same. <laughs> the sticky crit stickies do go out, do take down the heavy very, very early on. Mad Jack going down as well. The medic, which is the one person they need, is not dead. Down to about 40 or so health mm. there. Jigjot going down from Griever. So uh, a lot of kills happening either way. One minute, it 49 seconds. Mean. Yes? Yeah, Raiden is going to have it, and uh, Radiga did go down. So it's going to be 100% advantage whenever Misotech does want to push back. So not quite a maybe a confident cap that they needed. Not quite. Uh, they are scrubbing time off now. They've lost about 15 seconds, which is good. Um, that was, of course, the first time this half that they have actually capped up that point. Scrappy Coco on the demo is now moving forward. Looks like he's going to receive this critical charge, and uh, we'll see what he can do to get done with it. Yeah, here it comes. JD just needs to hold on to their medic. They, they're being very smart, having him way back here. They do lose a few players, but thankfully they did not lose their medic. He has 52% charge now. They lost the point, which I think was pretty much a given. With their respawners, though, hopefully they can get it back when, by the time they get 100. I think probably they can. They went down to two players, but I don't think they're really going to care that much. Raiden, Rady Cake there, lovely name, I love it, did actually go down, so they're probably pretty happy with that, and, um, well, they're just looking to try and get forward and then control the after fight after the crits happens. Yeah, and we've seen them play really coordinated and really well, so hopefully they can, they can pull that off this time. They do have their 100% now, coming in with the heavy, popping on the heavy, not getting any kills yet, quite yet, they need the positioning, they are getting the demo now, Looks like the medic is getting away nice and smartly. They're going to get this point, but yet again, the medic's going to hold on to it, and it's going to be a bit of back and forth. He does have 40%. Yeah, it looks like JD really just needs to throw a soldier yeah. at that medic. Try and get the force, uh, or kill the medic, ideally. Um, and something is the person to do that. He's trying to take down that mini sentry before he chumped, but he's going to get caught out by the combo and does go down. Yeah, we did say Rudiger did go down as well, so Rudiger's actually only just come back up. And he uh, hasn't actually started building yet, so I think uh, something JD could maybe improve on is after they pop their Crits Krieg, just holding on to that medic, not losing him straight afterwards. Probably. Don't know if you saw, Rady Cake actually went down to the Dilly on the Sniper, so uh, a minute left for Mesotech to try and push forward. One minute and 47 seconds for JD. They can do this. Coco does go down to the opposing number, Zion. Uh, they're trying to hold very far forward. Is this Mesotech team? I don't know if it's going to work for them without a medic, though. Yeah, no demo, no pyro. JD pretty much has the advantage without even needing to pop. They might just get some players on. They need to focus that heavy on the left-hand side, getting a lot of damage out. And finally, does get taken out. That's all JD really needs. They're not even going to need that crit screen, but they might just use it for Pete's sake. Bloody Pete. And um, Bloody they're going to cap that point there. Just for his sake. Yeah. No one else is really, but they do have that crit screen. They do. Probably looking for someone to use it on before Miso gets theirs. Yeah, Zion's actually coming out to the midpoint right now. You would say that at the, at this point in time, um, look, JD are probably about to lose Radiger. They did lose Radiger, yeah, now they're all going there. to die. A lot of players just jumping onto the medic as he pops. Pretty much all of JD going down. Miso just lying in position, waiting for them to come and just jumping on them all at once. 
then grabbing the point with only one up for JD, and that's the scout. It's a very aggressive Mesotech team, the way you're uh, making them sound, but yeah, they did do all of those things, and just as aggressively as you mentioned, all of the JD players went down. Um, and 20 seconds left now for Mesotech. I don't think JD can do this. In fact, the Pyro is ambushing players in the spawn. Uh, did take down Zyan, so that's something. Did go down himself, though. And in fact, Shredder taking down the Heavy again. He's been putting in a lot of work. And uh, the cr Chris was actually popped for Mesotech. They're trying to do this. They're trying to get some defense up. Chris now going out, but it looks like JD might actually re recontrol this point. Oh, JD doesn't have won't. many players. Miso does. Zion trying to get damage done. They might get the point, yeah, but they're going to need to hold on to it for a full minute. Engineer coming on to stop it. Soldier scout as well. The bit of cap time that needs to fade off. <laughs> just jumping their players on. Yeah. Oh, something got destroyed there. <laughs> he had to do That's it. He be... had to make the jump, but um, too little, too late. That is the second round to Misotech. as I try and find a demo to roll out with. There we go, Scrappy Coco on the rollout. See what they can do. Still running crits for Mesotech by the looks of things. A big jump in to mid, trying to get some work done. Already Sticky Trap dropping Coco down to about half health as we see um, Jigjot going down very early. And in fact, a lot of the JD players are getting deceased mm. on very quickly. Including the Medic there being sniped. Wow. So Miso's gonna have that advantage on that mid again. So straight away, Miso's got the upper foot in this particular round. In fact, no players left alive for JD. Yeah, that's crazy. You know, just turning the gas on there from Mesotech, able to just take out all the players, literally. So JD's going to have to try and respond to that. They can lose one more round, I think, and then it'll be three. So really, they want to win this one. They really do. Um, it looks like, however, Mesotech's decided to get a little bit serious. Um, you know, they've played a few rounds. It's getting pretty serious now. So, uh, probably don't want to get knocked down into that lower bracket, I would suspect. No, I imagine both teams would very much like to stay in that upper bracket, meaning that they get another chance to lose, and also they get seeded against better teams when they do go down. Yeah, Pew Pew Lasers but, yeah. coming out, switching over to Scrappy Coco, taking down Jigjot and Invert. Not quite catching Radiga out, however, he could go down. I'm not too sure where he is. In fact, he's getting just bum-rushed, and he does go down. Uh, to the scout there of the Mesotech team. So, um, yeah, really good play coming out of the Mesotech team right now. And that's a minute gone. I think you're lagging out there, Ish, but yeah. Mesotech, when they want to move their players on, they just manage to move all their players in at once. And they're able to just get all the kills they need. JD finally getting some of those kills and managing to take that point, but about a minute and a bit behind, they're going to need to hold on to it. Yes, am I still roboting? Yeah, you're still a bit of a robot there. Hmm, one second. Griever is actually cloaked now, kind of behind the medic. He is maybe going to go for a stab. JD's got 40%. They're going to want to hold on to it for a bit longer. And watch out for that Raiden pop as well. They might want to jump him. He's on the cliff. So Raiden actually had 100% crits now on that cliff. He's going to want to use it, but he doesn't really have a pocket. He's found the Heavy now. The Heavy's going to need a bit more health before they go. They are coming in now, but JD's going to be ready for it. Hopefully he doesn't lose a lot of players. Oh, actually, Ruddy are not really quite ready for it. Gets taken out there by the Kritzkrieg, and just a few more as well. Maybe should have been counting that Kritzkrieg a bit better. Misotech able to just use that kills that they got and just jump right back on. And they will have that time advantage. So how did JD go ahead and wipe a minute off their time? Did they, I think, drop the medic and cap forward, or...? JD, I didn't, I mean, that's just, that's just the time that it took until, uh, until Raiden got the crits, and then when Raiden did okay. get the crits, Rudiger was not ready for it, and pretty much all of JD went down to that crits creek. Okay. Well, it looks like we're, um, yeah, there's a really nice shot onto something. Looks like, uh, Mesotech's firmly in control of this round at the moment. Yeah. So, um, we do actually have a crits come out right now for the Mesotech team. Both they teams. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, the Mesotech one will be superior. A lot <laughs> of the players down for JD. Superior indeed. Less than a minute right now for Mesotech I'm on the a clock. Teleporter moving around. Is that me on the left hand side? I don't know what's going on there. 
Uh, on the cliffside? Yeah. Did you see no. that? Or... No. Something is wrong with my system, clearly. The teleport is actually moving. Yeah, it's still moving. I Iggy has got some sort of glitch going on my end. That okay. is weird. But um, <laughs> anyway, it does look like Miso has a huge advantage this round. It might just have to go down to the final round to see who's got it. Well, look, 20 seconds left for Miso Tech this round. JD mm. not really being in it right now. They did cap up that uh, that one cap, but really it's not happening for them. Miso Tech, 8 yeah. seconds left now. Grievous stab on Radiga there is probably much, pretty much going to seal the deal. Not much JD can really throw at it here. There's really not, and in fact, they can't. That now is, uh, what, 3 to 3, in fact, is it? That would be 3 to yes, 3. Yes, 3 to 3. Of course, oh, this is the, first to 4. Yeah, this is the this is final golden cap round, basically. Or golden yes, this round. will be it. The winner of this round will stay in the upper bracket, and the loser will, of course, go down to fight the lower bracket. Something taking down Griva very early on. Dilly taking down Ice as well. So uh, JD certainly starting off this round on the uh, well with the right attitude. I don't know if they can keep it up. However, really, that's a lot of Mesotech players down right now. Well, really, just two. I think if you count properly, but something of course is an nah. important pick. He's playing quite well. And they respawn. Oh wow, Rodiger getting taken down by a massive shot from the sniper there. And uh, as a result, it looks like, um, well, no, Dilly actually takes down his opposing medic as well. So, uh, trading medic mm. kills right now. No one really looking JD, like they're in control of the point. JD's just got the upper foot, I think, with the, uh, with the players there. But they need to get the players near the point. They're coming on now with the scout. It's a bit of a mess still. They just yeah. need to sort of regroup. That dispenser is there, which I think is going to be good for them. Dispenser, of course, the most important player on the team. Absolutely. If you get that dispenser, you definitely want to push off of it. However, a lot of JD players going down right now. All of the Mesotech players are alive. They did get that cap up, so uh, JD losing a little bit of their time, which is great for them, but Mesotech's probably going to cap this up. They, in fact, do, and only the 16 seconds gone for JD. Yeah, Mesotech, really, since we got here, when they were sort of flailing around a bit, not quite holding up against JD. They've certainly turned the gas on, and now they're just able to do these really good holds, and JD's going to need to put out something special if they want to win this deciding round. Griever comes oh. in and gets the stab despite getting flamed there. Oof, maybe That's... that could have been called out. Yeah, a bit Jig of a misplay. did actually have him on fire, yeah. That's okay, though. Right now, what we're seeing is Misotech dying, and a lot right now. Tried to pop off the crits, didn't happen. He actually uh, got sniped out. The, uh, yeah, and the heavy got stabbed yeah. as well. Yeah, heavy stabbed. Um, I think it was the demo maybe, or the soldier got sniped out. Um, and it actually means that JD is controlling this roundup a little bit right now. Two minutes, 17 left for um, for Mesotech. They've got to recapture up this point, though. Yeah, JD, just as I was saying, they needed to turn it around. They're doing a really good job here. They need to have this good forward hold. They've got pretty much even Ubers here. Need to watch for that spy Griever coming oh, in and getting Griever. the when he needs it. Griever the hero spy. Griever wow. the hero Probably spy. Third stab there on Rudiger. Just very timely stabs there from Griever. Yeah, Shredder trying to do his part. He actually does have that uh, dead ringer popped off. I'm going to follow him just for a little bit longer. He's trying to get some work done. I want to see if he can uh, compete with the Griever spy. And he cannot. Surely if anyone could compete with Griever, it'd have to be Shredder. <laughs> you would think so. But Raiden will have 100% crits Krieg now. He's got pocketing on the soldier at the moment. Oh, it does go like down to Dilly. Just before he gets sniped there by Dilly. It's crazy sniping, crazy spies, crazy scouts all at once happen this match tonight. Oh, there we go. Griever. Griever showing that he knows what? how to stab people. What? Getting two stabs there in a row. But Miso losing a lot of their oh, players. Oh, Radiger dying as well to a sad shot there. Sniped. Bit of a mess though, players from both teams are going down. JD might just hold it, we'll have to see. Miso does have their medic. So they yeah, Miso needs to get on it and cap it up. They've, they've let this time run for just a little bit longer than probably is necessary, and in fact... In fact, what? Dali just took down the uh, the scout and body blocked the sniper for him, so that's, that's interesting. That's something. But still, only 60 seconds left for JD. Uh, 2 and 17 now for Mesotech. I don't know what they're doing, but they're not capping up the point when really they think they could. Mm, Shredder getting a bit unlucky there. Almost got the stab on Raiden, but didn't quite get it. JD doing a good job at just wasting time here, not quite letting Miso get the point when they probably should be able to. 
they're doing an amazing job of just just like turtling this one up. It's they thirty are, six they left. The crisp, so because it is ready, they can't play this far forward once it's ready. That heavy's gonna get caught out, I think. He's way out of position. But Rudiger just needs to move because that crits will come onto his face. <laughs> Indeed. However, Coco does take down something. Shredder does take down his opposing medic though. So uh, Misotech yeah. will cap this up. Only 19 that seconds pick, left. I think will be big, yeah. Oh, Shredder kills all of the things. And suddenly JD look like they're in a position actually to recap this up. They've got the players. They just need to move Shredder, them a little bit further forward. Yeah, proving he is in fact the modern day griever. <laughs> <laughs> Teams are pretty even, but it looks like JD might just have the upper foot, as I say. Upper foot with the crits as well. JD. Crits they is out. Need 20 seconds. They might just pop the crits. Not quite going to pop it just yet. Here they go. It's actually an Uber. I'm mistaken, as usual. And uh, they pop it now on the point. They do just finish off the cap. They only need 15 seconds. They just need to make sure they don't lose their players. Great spotting out. Finally managing to spot out Griever there. Griever not going huge for once, but still JD loses a few of their players. Might lose this point. JD losing did make it quite a few. Yeah, they did yeah. bring it down to one second there, so it's just going to be very quick tap on that point is all they'll need now. Basically, they recap it and they will win. Uh, I don't know if they can do it, but if they can, it's got to be on the back of Shredder. I mean, the guy's actually not scoring as well as I might have thought. In fact, Jigjot is top scoring for JD right now. Don't ask me why, the guy's a good pyro, but normally pyro is not where you expect to see your top scorer. Medic actually fourth score, which is quite unusual. Yeah, that's, I don't know what's going on right there. However, Radiger back up 95%, whether it's crits or uber, I'm not go. too this sure. The they need to win this game. They're getting time on the point now. We, they only need a second. They need to watch out for that pyro. That pyro's just blowing back everyone. Finally gets taken out. Times three now. Misotech's trying to point. get forward. Soldier, sniper, scout, all coming on. Just, just kill the scout and they've won it. Wow! And that will be it. JD! It's staying wow. the back at Misotech being moved down. Great game there. Crazy, crazy plays. Well, I'm wrong. You're always I, wrong. But I'm I mean, always wrong, but I tip JD I'm to take wrong. that. That's more of a surprise, That's, I think. Yeah, of course. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> wow! Congratulations to JD. That was amazing. That was really good play. I think these playoffs are just bringing out the awesome plays from all teams. Just yeah, crazy. Absolute crazy. best of everyone. I'm really excited to see the rest of these playoffs. All of these teams are playing really well. Wow. That was wow. good. So, that was Koth Viaduct, UGC Highlander Season 9. This is the second week of playoffs. This was the upper bracket. Um, well, yeah, JD brilliantly winning against Miso. That means Miso does get knocked down, has to play again on Thursday. Uh, knocked down to the lower bracket. JD remains in the upper bracket. So, uh, definitely, congratulations to JD. Commiserations to Miso Tech. And uh, yeah, I've been Ashana. This has been Ashana on Friends TV. I've had with me Rubos. We hope you enjoyed this game as much as we did. And uh, thank you very much for watching.